<laughs> uh, you could have kept it. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Give it up for the No Jays. <laughs> <laughs> the No Jays. <laughs> uh, reach around radio. It's your boy, Speed Dog, your dog. Just want to tell all the ladies in the house, I'll be there for you. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Always wait for the, the insult. Wait for it. Wait for well, it. Well, I didn't realize my comments were getting to you so much. So I'm going to try to be nice. No, no. You. You, you couldn't. Yeah. No, he he he'd get, go against the grain. He like he like you know he'll be cool with it on the show, but afterwards I didn't like that you said I was bad in business. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think if Claudia tried to be nice that. to Speedy, she would get an aneurysm. In her Again, yeah, I think right, I'm gonna try the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, but a few minutes left. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Less pressure. <laughs> Got to start somewhere. Yeah. Well, rappers are in danger. I love it. Rappers are in danger. That's right, it's time for old school players what? and new school truths. Now, let me break that down. Okay. This show is to basically educate those who really don't know a lot about the history of hip hop. And we're not just going to talk about the old school artists because we say new school truths, which means we're going to talk about some of the new artists, but uh, artists as well that are, you know, staying true to hip hop. But today... We keeping it old school. So today we tribute my boy Ice-T, Tracy Morrow, better known as Ice-T, was born 54 years ago today. So happy birthday to Ice-T. T-O. And Newark, he's as old as you, Speedy. Newark, New Jersey. And he moved to South Central L.A. when he was barely a teen. He gained popularity in the mid-80s and released his first notable song, Six in the Morning. In 1986, following uh, up a year later with his debut album, Rhyme Pays. And you remember Darlene was... You know, mm. remember that coolest album cover. <laughs> she was since that was the yeah. power. That was the power album she was on, but she was also but on. That uh, was on the coolest rhymes. album cover since Parliament's Funkadelic album. Oh, was it Parliament's? Okay, her body's ridiculous. Yeah, it still is yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. Here's Ice T speaking on his early uh, rap career. Oh, my God. I started getting involved with hip hop because I had a whole bunch of stereo equipment and I wanted to be a DJ. But I got more attention from rhyming. And we would go to like five different house parties and garage parties a night. I'd rap over a couple of records and build my name. And then we'd rap at World on Wheels, you know, Skateland, and we rap here and there. But really, you know, to meet girls and become popular, nobody had ever really made any money rapping. So who would think it would be a career? It was just something to gain attention. Well, Ice-T definitely went on to have an illustrious career. Some consider Ice to be one of the founding fathers of gangster rap. And here he is speaking on his style of gangsta. The trick to my gangster rap was I always tried to balance it out. I tried to make sure that you would understand it. No matter how gangster you was, it was a penitentiary, you know? And no matter how cold you got, you could get dealt with, too. So I had kind of like a humble ability in my records. Like half of my records, I got killed, too. You dig? And I think anybody who's really ever been on the streets is going to have to admit the fact that it ain't no 100% game, you know? Well, that's really, really real. That's Ice T. Happy birthday, Ice T. Happy birthday. The Happy Rhymes birthday. Pay, play, Pays album was one of the first albums, along with two live crews, as nasty as they want to be, album to receive a parental advisory sticker. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Um, and that happened in 1992. Ice T gained worldwide attention when him and his band, A Body Count, released. Cop killer. Cop so killer. you know that upset a lot of people to the point where Ice T was eventually dropped from Warner Brothers Records. And ironically, Ice T now plays a cop on the NBC show Law and Order Special Victims Unit. He's currently producing hip hop documentaries and stars in a reality show with his lovely wife Coco. Yeah. And that has been Old School Players and New School Truths on Reach Around Radio. Let's get into some Ice T. Six in the morning, police at my door. Fresh to D to squeak across my bathroom floor. Out my back window, I make my escape. Didn't even get a chance to grab my old school tape. Mad with no music, but happy cause free. And the streets too 
a player is the place to be. Got a knot in my pocket, weighing least a grand. Gold on my neck, my pistol's close in hand. I'm a self-made monster of the city streets. Remotely control the hard hip-hop beats. But just living in the city is a serious task. Didn't know what the cop wanted, didn't have time to ask. <laughs>